but a whip full of an old man's wisdom and a child's wisdom. And then, in a moment, it was no more. And so she took a ring from her finger and placed it in his hand. There was a man, marked with the scars of his love of country, a body active with the surge of a life, far from spent. And she no more. So she took a ring from her finger and placed it in his hand, kissed him, and closed the lid of the coffin. A piece of each of us died at that moment. Yet in death, he gave of himself to us. He gave us of a good heart from which the laughter came. He gave us of a profound wit from which a great leadership emerged. He gave us of a kindness and a strength used into the human courage to seek peace without fear. He gave us of his love that we, too, in turn, might give. He gave that we might give of ourselves, that we might give to one another until the hatred the prejudice and the arrogance which can first converge in that moment of power to strike it down. In leaving us these gifts, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, President of the United States, is with us. Will we take them, Mr. President? Will we have now the sense and the responsibility and the courage 